G'day everyone, today I'm going to be putting some sliding doors on this linen cupboard I built earlier. Uh, I'm filming it on the GoPro, so excuse the audio if it's a bit rough, but um, we're working in such a tight hallway, I need a really wide angle lens so I can show you what I'm doing. So, we'll jump into it, we'll cut our jams, our header piece and our floor piece. I'm using some 110mm by 20mm pre-primed pine, and that's going to form the base of our uh, sliding door unit. I've got a track kit, so it's just like some aluminium channels, one for the top, one for the bottom, some rollers and some doors. So we'll get to that later, but for now, we'll build our jam and then we'll jump into the rest of it. All right, I've cut my header piece and my footer piece, I guess. I'm gonna stack them on top of each other. And that way I can put my tape measure under those, measure to the top, and that's gonna give me my side lengths accurately. All right, now I'm just gonna screw these together. Uh, make sure the good side is seen and then the, um, all the barcodes and crap and scratches. Make sure they're hidden. And usually I put three screws in each piece and you wanna pre-drill those as well. All right, so I finished off the plaster so that I wouldn't need architrave. Sometimes you can do, or well, most of the time you put your jam flush with the plaster, put an architrave on the front and everything's nice and tidy. But for me, I did some X's, I finished off the plaster and I'm just gonna leave a bit of a, a shadow line almost around the whole way. I feel like that's the look I'm gonna go for. Uh, I don't want architraves on this basically. So that's two ways around it. We'll get this nice and even all the way along, pin it off, and then we'll put our tracks in. All right guys, this is the tracks. This is the kit I bought. It comes with the rollers. Now we'll unpack that and we'll cut it to length. All right, so this snap track is the first piece. Now it's called a snap track because the part the wheels roll on is another section and that'll snap onto this. And that way there's no screws in the next track that attaches to this. So I've just marked a line where I want to put this. We can snap this in position. Now I've just centered this track. This is 10 mil gap either side. We'll mimic that at the top. So for the wheels, we need to drill holes in the bottom, chisel it out nice and square, and then drill another access hole on the side of the door so that we can adjust the height of the wheels later. Once the wheels are done, we screw these hockey puck looking things to the top of the door. They basically stop the door from rattling around at the top of the track. Now when I use these, it's a good idea to drill from both sides. That way you won't blow out the back of the door. All 
Alright guys, I've done a few tutorials on my channel now. Uh, I've done a lot of videos on handles and doors and architraves and things like that. This is the next piece of the puzzle. I haven't done sliding doors yet. I'm doing cavity sliders in my house as well, so I am going to show you how to do cavity sliders from start to finish. These are more of a wardrobe style sliding door. So um, I hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do want to see more videos to do with doors, to do with construction, tutorials around the house. There's heaps of them on my channel, so feel free to check it out. Thanks for watching.